This is a quick lesson in replacing head joint uh, corks for both the flute and the piccolo and restoring the reconditioning them. I'll start with uh, the flute. I first cut or break into the joint of each washer to release it. There will be cork uh, attached, residue attached, because these, as you will see, are shellacked to keep the cork from spinning inside the instrument. Loosen and remove. So both surfaces will have a little cork, which you need to remove. You can scrape off. and clean the surface until you have, not perfect, but relatively clean on the inside. So we will have done this for both the flute and the piccolo. Again, cut in with a knife close to the washer just to break that uh, shellacked seal. And then you're ready to, you're prepared to attach the new refreshed cork. We like here at Burkhart to seal this with some hardened or heated shellac. So first I'll apply the cork partially onto the ro threaded rod. Paint a little soft shellac in here and heat carefully away from keeping the cork out of the flame of course. Heat just until this direction Heat until bubbling, so you've driven the alcohol out. And on a clean surface, pushing. Same applies to the piccolo. It's partially on. Add the shellac to bubbling. The top face of the washer likely, likewise is scraped until clean. This one you will apply but not heat. It's not necessary. The shellac will in time dry, of course, and therefore you keep both of your corks from spinning. It's important not to tighten too much here. I go finger tight, and then with the draw nut driver, another quarter of a turn. Now this in a lathe head, uh, the I like a barrel shape for the, both the flute and the piccolo head joint corks. So I will take either a bastard file. or coarse sandpaper. To give me that nice barrel shape. The head joint corks that we provide should finish out, if you take nothing in the middle, should finish out at about uh, 17.9 millimeters, 18 millimeters. Go no smaller for a standard flute head joint. Go no smaller than 17.5 or 690 thousandths of an inch for flute. Uh, that then can be, the surface can be uh, 
quick sanded with a fine 1200 paper and using the back of the sandpaper to give it a matte finished polish to replace. Grease with cork grease, pop into the flute. Uh, it should drop, uh, it should not even see in a new cork, should barely see this into the embouchure hole. The rest is a good push and shove, align, and then wipe all of the cork grease out of the inside of the head joint with uh, usually alcohol on a cloth. Same applies to piccolo, although you maintain the barrel shape and want to finish that at 11, no less than 11.7 millimeters or 460 thousandths. And there you go.